Tony, how many times do I have to tell you nothing but butt photos on this hard drive? <sighs> Previously on Tryhards. Two idiots claiming to be poor people spent thousands of dollars parading across Europe, acting as amateur Photoshop sleuths and wannabe Instagram influencers. But here's the thing, filter safety and code enforcement is my job, and I don't like people trying to do my job for me. With all 60 of our photos now edited and sorted into an upload stop. schedule- Stop! Stop work order. Put down your mouse. Stop everything you're doing right now. Ma'am, I'm from the Department of Safety and Filters. Please don't be alarmed. Uh, I got a call about some unregulated belfies. Alright, something's going on here. But I can't quite put my finger on it because it's too damn dark! Could you turn a light on? Is there anything in that cup? Are you even drinking coffee? Is there anything about you that's real? Hey, newsflash, Nikki, your butt's facing the wrong way. Oh, come on, who leaves their router on the floor? Do you know how easily that can get stepped on? I'm citing you today for improper use of masks and the pen tool. You're right. Sir, I apologize. I just, I was trying to do this quickly, and I figured, you know, as long as I duplicate the layer, a destructive edit wouldn't matter. Huh, wouldn't matter. Look, if you try to edit butts in a hurry, you're gonna kill someone's career. You'll ruin your girlfriend's Instagram account, and I know you don't want that. I feel like I recognize you from somewhere. Did you used to be on Vine? Road work ahead? Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. Oh, you must be a Drew Goodner. Nice to meet you. I'm Drew Gooden. Oh, I knew it! So did I. So wait, now that Vine is closed, you inspect butts, Drew Gooden? Well, I've always inspected butts. Now I just get paid to do it. Now look, I'm not trying to snitch or anything, but if you're looking for mistakes, I do have you seen what Tana manju has been doing with her butt on Instagram? She's destroying her house. Oh, yeah, we... Yeah, you don't have to tell me about Tana. I hope you're happy, Tana. Now no one can use this step for the rest of the night because somebody's butt ruined it. Oh, Tana, I don't know if it was you who destroyed this bathroom, but you're clearly the one destroying these tiles. This is unsafe. I'm gonna need everybody to get out, pinch it off, finish what you're doing. I don't care. No one's gonna Photoshop your hands clean. All right, this one isn't so bad. I don't see any egregious, so oh, never mind, Tana. Your bare butt is bending that load-bearing pole. There's a riverboat casino above your head. Everybody off the boat! After renowned booty inspector Drew Gooden raided Tana's Instagram, I, being the altruistic dude that I am, turned to Twitter and tried to point Tana in the right direction. Tana replied to my tweet and, predictably, denied that she had edited her butt. In order to encourage Miss Mononucleosis to address these problems, I pulled up some satellite footage that makes the editing a little harder to deny. Godzilla's enemies have done less damage to a city than Tana did to Las Vegas here. This is hundreds of millions, maybe even a billion dollars worth of damage here. For the amount of destruction caused, Tana's butt could be classified as a kaiju in Japan. In every fucking picture! Every picture! So what were the typical comments and DMs like? Did you get any famous rappers hitting you up? Little Pump doesn't care if you live or die. She's gonna have rap artists in the DMs. Well, I hope so. <laughs> no rappers, and most of the DMs were either a heart or the word hi. And, um, oh, I did get an island vacation offer. And of course there was the creeper that was writing the um, sex novel for me. I pounce on you like a sexy wild cat pounces on his sexy prey. Now I slothly undress you while I kiss you and twitch your breast. I push you against the wall. My finger slid all over your sexy body. You say, oh my god, yes. You make the horniest face I've ever seen. And you look to me and I'm ready to satisfy your greatest and deepest desires. So you whisper to Sears in my ear and say, Let's do all, Let's my, do all my this year right now. Right now. You are ever so horny and you're drapping from your hoat of a jean. I pull my pant down and you look at my perfectly sized penis. It is the penis of your drams. 
and you want it more than any penis you've ever seen before that you've seen. So I lift you up and I walk us to the bedroom. To be continued. You continue macking this story, Naki. <laughs> With all 60 of our photos now edited and sorted into an upload schedule, the last hurdle to clear was writing the descriptions. At first, we'd considered using the exact same text of the photos that we'd copied, but when we looked at it, it like we just could not bring ourselves to copy those words and those emojis. Don't waste energy, Karen, what other people think about you. Squat, 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 squat so everybody. LOL, well, drop it low. Squat, Life challenge. is beautiful. At Jen Salta. Some is ugly to others. That's why it's so important to decide what you want and spend your energy getting there and feeling good about it. Life is like a Ferris wheel. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. In the end, you just have to learn to enjoy the ride. Every sunset is followed by a sunrise, a new start. If people are trying to bring you down, it only means you're above them. on yourself and the less time worrying about the opinion of others, the quicker you'll get to where you want to be and the better you feel when you see your progress. Plus, like with the Photoshop book, we wanted to sprinkle lots of little clues into the project to let people know that this is a joke. If anyone was paying the slightest attention, the text that we came up with for each photo makes it rather obvious that something weird is going on. I stare down and want to absorb all the culture, history, personality, and romance the city offers. But running against traffic with spandex and earbuds is much more enriching. Diese yoga pose wurde in Deutschland verboten. This yoga pose was banned in Germany. When you've got tan lines brighter than your teeth, pull your pants down and say cheese. Humble to learn about this amazing sex symbol who captivated the world despite her average body and pink teeth. Hummingbirds drink the sweet liquid found inside skulls of girls who buy bright yoga pants. You can take the girl out of the ghetto. <laughs> What? You can take the girl out of the ghetto, but injecting her with suburban decency is almost impossible. Did you know that you'll burn twice as many calories if you pretend to read but pretending to exercise? I call it book burning. Who wants to organize a book burning in Central Park? Give a woman a mask, and she will show you her boobs. Oscar Wilde. As anyone who has ever tried to make and then seed viral content can tell you, if your plan is just to upload to a small or to a new channel or account and then just hope people find it and share it, the plan is already doomed. With how much good content there is competing for attention on the internet, you need to have a distribution plan and then you need to give your content a hard shove. Our booty promotion strategy included Reddit, Imager, Facebook, and shoutouts. We laid out some rules for this project going into it. Number one, no buying fake followers. Number two, no follow for follow schemes. And number three, no mass unfollow, mass follow apps. Those tactics do get big numbers quickly, but they're fake numbers. Plus, anytime you're doing something with automation inside an app, you're at risk of getting your account flagged and deleted at, at any time. So full try hard for this project, no cheating on the numbers. As far as Reddit goes, there's a broad landscape of subreddits that are relevant to booty promotion. We mapped out all these subreddits into a master list, grouped them by topic, and sorted them by subscriber count. If you're trying to self-promote anything on Reddit, the most important thing to know is you're not supposed to. It's mentioned in the rules, it's ingrained into the culture of the site, it's highly frowned upon. But that doesn't mean you can't. We honestly could make a whole video about Reddit, but here's an example of the kind of sly promotional post that does seem to work on Reddit. My grandfather painted this picture of Cthulhu, and he doesn't think it's very good. What do you think, Reddit? Kaboom! 20,000 upvotes! Hits the front page of our all! Thread is filled with people offering to buy the painting. And then OP can post the link to his family's Etsy store because, hey, they asked! And here's the type of post that doesn't work. Same picture. Hey guys, so I opened an Etsy store where my family sells paintings like this Cthulhu one. I'd love it if you'd check it out. Instantly downvoted into oblivion! You, you get... Nothing. NOTHING! GOOD, Good day, DAY SIR! Reddit loves new content and creativity, as long as it isn't yours. If you're posting just original content, if you're a YouTuber or Instagram and you, you like just sharing it, you can't. Which I'm sorry, is a little... I love Reddit, but that's a little stupid. So you might be thinking, alright, I got this. I'll be a little disingenuous. I'll never mention that this is my content, and maybe I'll even make a bunch of alt accounts and upvote my own stuff. Or I'll get my friends to join Reddit and we'll upvote each other's posts. Nope. 
that will not work. So Reddit's voting system is shrouded in mystery, but here's what I've gathered. Every upvote and downvote is not created equal. The weight of a vote lessens as the strength of the relationship between accounts increases. Meaning, the first time you upvote a post by another user, that vote might be worth one whole point to that thread. But the next time you upvote another post by that same user, your vote might be worth only a fraction of a point. The third time it's worth an even smaller fraction, and on and on. If you're not obnoxious about it, and you do stay relevant to the subreddits you're posting on, Reddit is a good traffic source. So at the end of the day, how well did we do with Reddit promotion? We rode the front page of some decently sized subreddits, but our picks never broke through to our all. Reddit picks and comments brought Nikki about 30 to 100 new Instagram followers a day. Now next up is Imgur. Now Imgur is a photo site that was originally created to be used in conjunction with Reddit. It's also still the preferred hosting site for most subreddits because you can link straight to the full size images without any ads on screen. When you upload a new photo to Imgur, you can link to it immediately outside the site, but you also have the option of submitting the photo into Imgur's own internal community for voting and comments. This is really dicey though with anything that could even remotely be considered sexy because apparently Imgur doesn't want that on its community side. Most of Nikki's Instagram pics that were submitted into Imgur were removed by a moderator for violating their terms of service. Even if we marked the pictures not safe for work, and most of them were safe for work, they were flagged and then removed by mods. Despite those issues though, there were a couple posts where we did have some success on Imgur. The this yoga pose was banned in Germany photo hit Imgur's most viral list, which is basically like hitting the front page of Imgur. The post seemed to funnel hundreds of followers over to Instagram, and some good memes came out of the comments. Facebook. Facebook is tricky for our project for two reasons. Any public figure is pushed onto a fan page rather than a profile. Facebook wants these fan pages to follow the same rules as corporate brands do. So that means, in the case of our Nerd City fan page, unless we pay Facebook to boost a post, it'll only be seen by a very small fraction of the people who ever decided to like Nerd City. Anyone in internet marketing can tell you, that situation only gets worse every year. Facebook has been slowly shutting down organic reach like a faucet that's being gradually turned off. It was once a steady stream, then it became a trickle, and now it's a drip, an agonizingly slow drip. And unfortunately, Facebook won't even allow sexy pics to be boosted. The ads will simply be declined. Which brings us to the second, more obvious problem with Facebook for our promotional purposes. They have rather strict guidelines for photos. Facebook does own Instagram too, but the rules are not the same on both apps. And what are the rules on Facebook? In 2012, Facebook's secret guidelines were leaked to Gawker by an employee of a company that Facebook subcontracts to manually review flagged content. So if you're thinking of posting any sexy content to Facebook whatsoever, this is actually a very useful list to familiarize yourself with. It contains a few surprising no-nos. So, since Facebook charges for promotion and hates sexy pics, it seems like a lost cause for our purposes, right? Well, not quite, because groups. So next time you feel like you're all alone, just remember, you're not alone, and your group is waiting for you. Facebook appears to be in the middle of a phase right now where they're trying to promote the use of groups. If you search Facebook groups for terms like booty, ass, yoga pants, or fitness babes, you will find thousands of groups, each with thousands or hundreds of thousands of members and containing the raunchiest content you can imagine, posted right into the Facebook platform. It's a bit stunning. Once you're inside a group, spam away, because if you get banned from one of these groups, who gives a shit? You will never be able to join them all. It's impossible. It's like visiting every planet in no man's sky. But if you're gonna pursue this method of marketing, I would recommend doing it with an account you don't care about, because unlike fan pages, for now, these groups have very high organic reach. So if you join a bunch of the groups, your feed will instantly be filled with booty pictures. Results-wise for us, Facebook groups was probably comparable to Reddit. You know, if you're aggressive about it, and you post to relevant groups, you can probably get a steady stream of a few dozen followers a day. Shout outs! When you think about paid promotion on social media, bad things start to come to mind. Things you don't want. You can go to a marketplace like Fiverr or a darker marketplace like Black Hat World and just outright buy followers or subscribers or likes or comments to basically any platform you'd want. But those are garbage because they're coming from botted accounts. Any potential sponsor or collaborator is going to look at your engagement on posts and if they see none, they're going to know you have fake followers. So avoid that. But there is a different type of paid promotion that maybe isn't so bad. You can see this referred to by a few different names. Sometimes it's called a shout out and sometimes they're called plugs. And this is promo that's bought, sold and traded between Instagram accounts. A shout out happens when one popular Instagram account, let's say Booty McWhale, posts a picture belonging to another popular Instagram account, let's say Sassy McBigbutt, and says, 
Hey everybody, go follow Sassy McBigbutt if you like butts. And they might even delete the picture after a certain amount of time. Since the followers of Booty McWhale clearly like butts, and Sassy McBigbutt has a notable one as well, that might be a good shout out. That might result in a lot more followers jumping over to Sassy McBigbutt. As soon as Nikki started uploading pictures of her butt with hashtags like fitness chick and booty building, professional booty promoters started to come out of the woodwork in the DMs. A typical promoter who might solicit you through Instagram probably has ties to multiple accounts that repost pictures and specialize in promo. Of course, if you take a closer look at these accounts, a lot of them have very low engagement, which is the telltale sign of fake followers. So if you're interested in buying a plug, you need to be discerning yourself. Another way of sorting out what promoter might be worth their rate is to run a fake follower check on the promoter's account. Some of them show very poor results on those tests, which would suggest their followers are bots. Those tests aren't perfect because they'll only test a sample of their following, but it can be very revealing. And you don't want a promoter who just dishes out some of their bots at you in order to make it look like their promotion was worth it. In the end, the results you get from shoutouts still come down to the quality of your content, because if you're uploading only crummy pictures, people aren't going to be likely to click over and check out your account anyway, and the big promoters aren't going to be seeking you out because they don't want dull pictures on their page. As long as you keep the quality of your content high, then the quality of the shoutouts are more likely to match that. The followers who came in through these legit plugs were real people who like and comment and tried to DM her like normal Instagram users. We spent several hundred dollars on shoutouts spread out over time, and tens of thousands of followers were the result. <laughs> So we took all the pictures, we uploaded them to Instagram, we marketed them. Did the public buy it? Was the booty theory correct? From a starting point of... 84. To 50,000 in under 35 posts! <laughs> you remember this weird picture that we copied, like all the way down to the watch and the bracelet and the shoes? It's a spooky picture when you really think about it, right? Like she's crouching at the end of the yard, staring into the bushes. It's like, Jen, hello, what are, you, what are you doing out of the edge of the yard? Why are you staring into the, are you okay? It reminds me of a scene in Paranormal Activities. Hey. It's like booty horror or something like that. So that inspired the description that we put underneath our photo. Look behind you. I'm right behind you. Well, Jen Selter herself commented on that photo. <laughs> oh my god. So Jen would see that you're wearing all of her clothes. Would have got all this. Except your caption's like a spooky short story. I'm surprised she didn't have any questions. <laughs> and she left some very enthusiastic emojis. She rated it three high fives, and a fire. Approval from the queen. This project was a success. I pounce on you like a sexy dog pounces on the prey. You, you can don't.